All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, it's always tough when you draw that high-level wrestler who has a lifetime of experience in a one-on-one -on -one competitive situation. Prevailing wisdom is he'll have the wrestling advantage in this one tonight. As his dad said, the moment he introduced him to the sport, he knew that he was made to be a wrestler. The kid slept in his headgear. He uh -huh. only wants to wrestle, and by doing that, he puts you in danger. He's constantly in your face, constantly trying to dig at your gas tank. He goes from transition to transition, single to double to high crotch. It does not matter the attack. He just knows that he will give you so much to process in terms of the wrestling that eventually he will get you to the ground. You ever sleep in your headgear? I sleep in my headgear. All the time? All the time. All right, big one for him here tonight. Let's get to it. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here is Bruce Ladies Buffer. and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of San Francisco, California, USA, Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Bone Crusher. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch gloves. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet, the other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Good punch lands. And there comes the separation now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Knee to the body. Both guys appeared to land there. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at you. 
Just over three minutes to go. Under three minutes to go in round one. Do not back up. Let's go forward now. Ooh, big shot lands. Lee gets caught by that elbow. It doesn't look like there's a cut, but he'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Oh! Oh! Fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range. He needs to take his punch after punch from his clinch position. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Keep your hands up. Under a minute now to go round one. Oh, wow! Head kick! Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the pump start to slow down, and I think many of those kicks. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful body. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Let us now check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and how about that flying knee? I mean, who does that? Who jumps off the ground and throws a knee? Who propels himself to throw a flying knee? I would never. Right. It's too dangerous. Risk versus reward. You try anything out there. But I guess that's why it's a video game. I'd probably pull a muscle or something. <laughs> you ready? You ready? Look at him drive his shin body with that body kick. Big kick land. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And he landed the right hand. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. And Volka is really throwing with authority. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Big call punch lands. Now we get back to range. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off the yeah. center line. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the elbows to the side. Otherwise, he's gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. He blocks the punch. All right, single collar tie now. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Spinning back fist. I mean, 
look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Single collar tie now. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Strike hands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Nice punch there. What a fight so far. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with, it's going to be very strong. there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Oh, straight right. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Leg kick checked effectively there by Lee. there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in Now he's on top of him looking for a fit. Oh, he got a bat! All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Seconds winding down in round three. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Great work last round. You knocked him down. You've shown you have the power to put anybody away. This round, let's go back to the same game plan. I want you to stay. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, next round is underway. And if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high. 
and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. It's a beautiful fast jab with meaning. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. on the elbow. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. and defensively, you better be careful. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. And just like that, the fight is over. Wow! What a performance! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, seven seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Paul Pusher. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.